Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. Good evening, Miss Patricia. Good evening. It's good to have you here. I'm very glad. And um, no matter the rain, you're here. So I'm very, very happy for that. Okay. So let me just um, open my presentation that I have for you tonight and to show you what we are going to be working in the platform. So just wait a minute for me, please, to share the screen and here. Okay, this is the beginner's model number three. So for this week, um, we need to continue with the lesson objective. Uh, last night we studied uh, study the months and dates. So we learned how to express uh, the dates um, using the ordinal numbers, right? So for today, the lesson objective is about the future with the going to. So in this lesson objective, it says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no questions using to be going to. And um, additionally, you will practice, right? You will practice a conversation, excuse me. Okay, you will practice a conversation right, you, uh, using uh, be going to, and you will learn how to illustrate this topic in real life settings. So uh, you can go to the platform, and in the platform you will find the future with be going to and a conversation about a birthday celebration, right? So I invite you to go and to watch this video many, many times until you can get the right pronunciation of some words and that you can practice your speaking. After that, you can complete the knowledge check, right? Uh, so as I said before, in order to complete this knowledge check, you need to open the, the pop-up window and then you can download the audio and you can listen uh, as much as you can in order that you make sure that you're answering in the right way here. So let me just advance. And then I think, uh, for now, that's it, because tomorrow, uh, well, if we, if time allows us, we are going to continue practicing today how to reduce um, the going to in order to sound my, more natural, right? Uh, basically, uh, referring to the American English, because remember that in the British English, they speak like full, but in the American English and in the Canadian English, people try to contract everything and they shorten some words in order to sound more natural. So that's what uh, we are going to study today. And after this, uh, you can go and advance. Remember that the idea is that you can go to the platform first, you advance, you check the videos, you listen the videos, you watch the videos, and then you come to the class uh, and you can ask questions if you have regarding to structure, regarding to grammar, and also you can have the space for speaking. So um, this is the video for the um, going to reduction. And then uh, we are going to change a little bit the topic. So I'm going to stop sharing this here in order to go to the presentation that I have for you and to continue with the practice. Okay. So let me introduce this topic by saying that um, just let me show you this. Okay. Um, uh, going to is uh, a future tense, right? Uh, it expresses um, a logical prediction, right? For the future, or it expresses an intention or plan uh, which has already been decided. This tense is constructed by, with a verb be, the conjugation of verb be, and going to, plus the infinitive of a main verb, right? For example, here, Mr. Smith is going to meet a friend, is going to meet, right? Since I'm talking about Mrs. Smith, the right conjugation of the verb to be is, is, right? So Mrs. Smith is going to, right? The future, uh, uh, this auxiliary verb for the future, and then the, the main verb in infinitive is going to meet a friend in town. She just looked out of the window. The sky is blue. It is not going to rain. 
So Mrs. Smith is going to leave her umbrella at home. So look here. It says that Mrs. Smith, in this case, she had some plans and intentions for the future. So she decided the decision to, um, to have the meeting with a friend was already done. So uh, the, the decision was already been made. So Mrs. Smith is going to meet a friend in town. That's the decision. The predictions for the future are based on a present evidence. So which is the evidence? For example, the sky is blue, so it's not going to rain. So what's my evidence? The sky is blue, so it's not going to rain. So Mrs. Smith is going to leave her umbrella at home because she has a prediction, prediction that it is not going to rain. So what about the signal words for future? Remember that in English, we have some signal words like tomorrow. Whenever you see tomorrow, we are talking about future. Next week, next month. All the words that are with the word next means future, right? Next week, next month, in one year. Coming Friday, next weekend, next vacation, for Christmas, etc. However, there are no concrete signal words for going to. We have to examine the context to determine which future tense to use. Okay, so how are the conjugations? Look, we have for the uh, affirmative sentences and for the subject pronoun I, I use am. So I am going to work on Saturday. He, she, it. For these we use is. So I say, he, she, it is going to work on Saturday. So the formula is the subject pronoun plus the right conjugation of verb to be for this subject pronoun plus going to plus the main verb plus the complement, okay? For we, for you, for they, we use are. So we say, for example, they are going to work on Saturday, okay? Excuse me. For the negative sentences, so just let me annotate with a spotlight, which could be better, okay? For the negative sentences, we, the formula is subject pronoun plus the verb to be plus the particle not, because we are talking about a negative sentence plus going to, plus the main verb, plus a complement. In this case, I am not going to work on Saturday. Look, the main verb in this case is work, right? And the complement is on Saturday, right? But in this case, I'm, I'm making emphasis that we are talking about a negative sentence. He, she, it is not going to work on Saturday. We, you, they are not going to work on Saturday. So what about the questions? Whenever you want to uh, ask questions using the uh, B uh, plus going to, you have to move the verb B at the beginning of the sentence. Then you have the subject pronoun and then you add the going to plus the main verb plus the complement. For example, am I going to work on Saturday? So in this case, um, I apologize because, excuse me, but I need to write the question mark, okay? Because it's a question. And remember that whenever you have a question, you have to add the question mark. Is he, she, or it going to work on Saturday? Are we, you, and or they going to work on Saturday? So it's a question. So I need to move the verb to be just at the beginning of the sentence and change the structure. Verb be plus subject pronoun plus going to plus main verb plus complement. Okay. And later we are going to study WH uh, questions uh, with going to, uh, but basically the structure is the WH word plus the verb be plus the subject plus the going to plus verb complement. And you say, where am I going to go this weekend? When are you going to arrive home? Why is she going to cancel the meeting? 
What is he going to buy in a store? Why are they going to change the place? Who are you going to play with? How much is it going to cost for the client? How long are we going to stay in France? Remember that the WH words are information questions. So it means that you need to provide more than yes or not, right? So when you, uh, when you use where, you're asking for a place. When you use when, you're asking for a date or a time. When you use why, you're asking for a reason. When you use what, you're asking for something, right? Why, and as I said before, for asking for a reason. Who, asking for a person. How much, asking for a quantity. How long, asking for the duration of a period, right? So later we are going to um, go deep on this. So uh, in order to continue, I just want to show you that we have uh, the reduction of this expression, which is not a very formal thing, but uh, in the spoken English is very common to find instead of going to, they say, they say gonna, for example. Gonna, it is an informal contraction for the future form of going to. In Spanish means voy a, vas a, va a, van a, vamos a. Okay? And as I said before, is used in informal situations. Okay, going back to the normal uh, writing of going to, the formula or the structure is subject plus the verb to be, plus the auxiliary verb, which is going to, plus the principal or main verb, plus the complement. My family is going to travel to Peru, okay? My family is a subject, is going to, is, the, is, is because I'm talking about my family, it, so the right form of the verb to be in this case is is. The auxiliary verb going to, plus the main verb, or the principal verb, travel, and then the complement, to Peru. Okay, so let me advance a little bit. Okay, now, uh, we have here 12 possible activities. So what do we have to do is to describe Peter's plans for tomorrow using going to, with the expressions provided in the box. For example, get up early, have a coffee, go to swim, eat a healthy breakfast, send an email to his boss, go to the bookstore, go for a walk with his dog, eat pizza for lunch, to watch a movie, to see some friends, to go to, to, go to, to set the alarm, go to the bed early, okay? So here I gave you an example. Tomorrow, Peter is going to get up early at 6 a.m. So, what I would like you to do is to please take a picture of this exercise. I will do it also, and then I'll send it to you, okay? Because we are going to, go, to work on this in groups. So I'm sending it right now for you to work on this. Okay, excellent. You already have it in your groups. So if you want to take a picture, it's okay. I'm going to stop sharing because I need to send you to the breakout rooms now in order that you can work together, okay? Okay, let's create the rooms and please join whenever you receive the invitation.
Hello, hello. Do you have questions? Hello. Tenemos preguntas? I'm here just in case you have questions. So the idea is that you can create sentences using going to, right? And the expressions that are in the uh, pink box, right? La idea es que creemos yes. oraciones, ¿verdad? Oraciones utilizando las expresiones que están en las cajitas, en la cajita rosada. Okay, using the structure, uh, going to plus the main verb. If you have questions, I'm going to be around just to help you, okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay, okay. see you in a minute. En las casas. Son siete oraciones. Cualesquiera uh -huh. de esas doce. Sí, tenemos que hacer, solamente tenemos que hacer seis. Ok. We, we need to, to complete the sentences. If you want, you okay. can choose one of these twelve uh, options and uh, complete what Uh, Will Peters do uh, or uh, what is the first going to do tomorrow? Excellent. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, thank you, uh, my dears. That's the idea that you have 12 possible choices, but you just need to work on six of them. Okay. So you decide which uh, you choose in order to elaborate the sentence. Okay, teacher. Okay. I don't know if, if you want, Adrian, to, to make the first one. Okay, see you in a minute, my dears, okay? Going to get up early. Algo que me quedó duda es si el gona es solo cuando lo pronunciamos de manera informal o también es escrito. Hello, I'm here. May I help you? Hello. Yes, in okay. effect, gona is only when you pronounce it. Uh, okay. yeah? Because gona is an informal way. Okay? Later on, we are going to explain. But gonna uh, is not considered formal. Whenever you're writing an email, for example, or a letter, you say going to in the full going form, to. right? En algún mensajito con un amigo, yes, you can say gonna. Con? Yes, you but can now, say, okay. but, be, but this, is very, this is very informal, right? Excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. Okay, number three. Um, uh, Hola, hola. ¿Me escucha? Hello, Aura. Hello, Carmen. Hola. Are you, are you able to communicate each other? Estamos en una comunicación, no me escucha Aura. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Ok, sí. perfect. Ah. Excellent, excellent. Remember that if you have uh, some disruption, maybe it's because it's raining, so sometimes the internet is failing. But you can ah, okay. use the chat. If you don't get um, possible to, to listen to each other, you can use the chat to write to each other, okay? Okay. I'm just here to, to ask you if you have questions about the exercise, or if, can I help you? Um. Basically, you just have to write six sentences, right? You have 12 possible choices, but you need to write only six. Okay. okay. If you want, you can divide. Hoy sí. Lo que pasa es que lo que pasa es que me 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 estaba poniendo los audífonos, pero la lluvia no me deja oír. Okay. Esta, Entonces, así la lluvia está complicada. Sí. Y ahorita el Bluetooth a saber qué le pasó, pero no se preocupe. Comprendemos. Eh, traten de avanzar lo más que puedan. Les decía que tenemos siete sí. opciones, en realidad son... Actividades, ¿verdad? 
¿verdad? Solo son seis y ustedes pueden escoger de las doce expresiones las que ustedes quieran usar. ¿Okay? Siempre a las seis de la mañana. Cualquier hora podemos poner, ¿verdad? A cualquier hora. A cualquier okay. hora. Lo que pasa es que la primera es un ejemplo. La primera oración es un ejemplo para que ustedes se guíen, ¿sí? Ok. Y ustedes escogen otras seis expresiones de la, del cuadrito rosado y elaboran sus propias oraciones. Ok. Thanks. You're welcome. Ok. Ok. Tomorrow, Peter. Hello, Gerardo. How are you? Do you have a problem by joining the group? Hello, how are you? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, which were, which group uh, were particip you, were you participating, or is uh, you're still entering to the class right now? Hola, Gerardo. Me puede escuchar? Hi, hi. Yes, hi. yes. Uh, Repeat, please. Okay, we are working in groups right now, so I'm going to join you to a group, right? Lo voy a unir a un grupo, ¿sí? Estamos trabajando en okay, grupo. Ok, ok, ok. So I already sent to the WhatsApp group an image of an exercise that we have to do using going to. Uh, the okay. idea is to write some sentences uh, using going to. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room. Ok. In order that you can work. So... Okay, you will receive a new invitation. Come un desayuno saludable. Eat a healthy breakfast. Sí. Sería tomorrow. Que no es como, como. Sí, va. Sí, pero sí, eso es. O sea, que ese healthy es sano. Ajá, saludable. Sano. Saludable. saludable. A healthy breakfast. Saludable. Un desayuno saludable. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. See you in a couple of minutes, ok. Uh, email. Email. Ocho quince, ocho cuarter. Ocho, sí, lo primero. Ocho o ocho, sí, ocho quince. Todo lo que enciende la máquina. Excellent, you're planning. Very good. <laughs> You're imagining all the routine, all, all Peter's routine. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Okay. See you in a, in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Hoy, we are already finished. Peace. Hello. Excellent. Congratulations. Very good. Almost on time. Nine thirty. Okay, you fulfill all the sentences on time. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll call you back in a minute. Um, just let okay. me do the, my last check and then I call you. Thank you. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. Y 
let me share again my presentation in order that we can work together. Okay, just wait, uh, please, a couple of seconds for people to join us. Okay, dokie. Excellent. Okay, people is coming. What was the practice? Were you able to complete? Yes, right? Excellent. Yes. Excellent. They already complete the... Okay, excellent. So, uh, thank you very much Seven for sentences. coming back. Uh, I need at least one uh, sentence per group, right? Teacher, yo solo, I, I have a question. Yes, let me know, tell me. Okay, thanks. In, the, in this case, for example, um, go to swim. Is uh, Peter going to go to swim? Peter uh, is going to go to swim. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going to go oh. to swim. Yes, yes. In this okay. case, it seems like redundant, but uh, going to is an auxiliary and the main verb is go. And then to swim is an infinitive, right? Okay, thanks. Yes, excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you for asking. So uh, who wants to start with the, with the examples? I would like that to complete this exercise with your help. So who would like to start? I, I complete one, one tenses. Okay, what is, okay. Uh, I, uh, tomorrow Peter is going to have a coffee 6 a.m. Tomorrow, tomorrow Peter, Peter is going to have a coffee 6 a.m. He's going to have a coffee. At 6 a.m. <coughs> okay? So, remember to always write the preposition regarding to the time, right? Thank you. Thank you, Aura. Okay. Uh, Next uh, volunteer. Uh, six Thank you for number three. Okay. Uh, Andy. Please, Andy, go ahead. Adelante. Tomorrow, Peter mm -hmm. is going to go to swim before to take his breakfast. Tomorrow, Peter is going to go to swim uh -huh, before he takes, right? His breakfast. It's like this. All right, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you, Andy. Number four, volunteer for number four. Yeah, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, tomorrow, Peter is going to eat a healthy breakfast at 8 a.m. He's going to eat a healthy breakfast. At 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Volunteer for number five. We are about to finish. Okay. Let's see. My turn. Volunteer. Uh, excuse me, Lorena, and then I think Adrián, I don't know, maybe, okay? Go ahead, Adrián, go ahead. Go ahead, Adrián, if you want. Lorena is saying, you can do it. Adelante, Adrián. Okay, uh, tomorrow Peter is going to go for a walk with his dog. He's going to go... Tomorrow, Peter is going to go for a walk? For a walk with his dog. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And thank you, Lorena. Thank you. And my dear Lorena? Okay, ma'am. 
Tomorrow, Peter is going to eat pizza for lunch. Okay, tomorrow, sorry. Tomorrow, Peter is going to eat pizza for lunch. Excellent. And the last one, who wants to finish this exercise, my dears? Let's see. My last volunteer for tonight. I know that I can because... say okay, tomorrow I... Peter is go... mm -hmm. going to go bed early. To go to bed early. He's going to go to bed early. Yes. Thank you. I know that because of the rain, many of you are having some trouble uh, with the audio, so I understand. Don't worry about it. Even my, my attendance is low today because maybe because of the rain. Thank you, you did a great job uh, trying to describe Peter's routine uh, using the going to, the B plus going to structure. So remember that this is to uh, say a future tense when you have a planned activity, right? You have something very um, plan, uh, planned for the next day, for example. So now, uh, let's continue now and then uh, we have here uh, another example, or another exercise. Answer the questions about you. We have been working with Peter, right? But now, please answer the questions about you. Please use going to. So again, I'm going to hide myself and you, and I would like to take a picture. If you can take a picture, it's okay. And I'm going to send it, and we are going to try to answer these questions using going to. For example, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? Okay, talking about you now, this time. It's not Peter, it's you, okay? Uh, what time are you going to get up tomorrow? Okay, what are you going to do after class? Um, then, uh, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? Uh, where are you going to go on the weekend? Are you going to travel to another country this year? How much money are you going to spend this month? Okay, so those are questions. I expect that uh, every one of you answer at least two of these questions. I don't expect to have all the answers, but in each group that each participant answers at least two of these questions. Um, you have questions about the exercise? No? Yes, no. Okay, if not, be very welcome again to the breakout rooms. You will receive again the invitation, so please join. Um, if you have problems with the audio, you can use the chat to communicate each other. Okay. Uh, I am going to Yo copié la pantallita es por aquí. Veamos hey, cómo el orden. Eh, I am I am to, I am going to going to I'm going, um, I'm going to get up 
tomorrow at 4 a.m. Four. Four. Now, number three. Okay, number three. Question. Um, I'm going to do this, the, the, with, this, wash the dishes, for example, if I just tengo, después de clases, después de clases, tengo que ir a lavar los trastos, for example, I'm going to, I'm going to wash the dishes. Yeah. Okay. Ajá, en la, en la tres. What are you going to do after class? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm going to... To... Going going to, to... Get up. Get up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. At seven. I am. Temprano. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Yeah. You have like two more minutes in order to finish, yeah. right? Okay. okay. See you there. I go to bed. Uh, What are you going to do after class? ¿Qué haces después de la clase? Dormir. I I I I am going to I am going to sleep. Going to the bed. I'm going to bed. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. To bed. Uh, oh, I'm I, going to bed after class. I'm going to bed okay. after class. Yes, yes. Porque es, ¿qué es lo que va a ser después de la clase? Then you say, okay. yes. And then you say, I'm going to bed after class. Excellent. Okay. See you in a minute. Four. What are you going? Four. To travel, go to, go to, porque de ir sería Perú, o sea, una cosa así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I'm going to travel, go to Perú, go to Colombia, go to Costa Rica, uh -huh. España, vaya, España. Uh -huh. Y ahí quiero ver. Está bien. How ¿no? much? Listen, just, just, some, just a, a short feedback. I'm going to travel to Spain. You don't have to say go twice, okay? Solo una mm -hmm. vez, let go. I'm, go. I'm going to travel to Spain. To Spain, ah, okay. okay. I'm going to travel no, go to. to Peru. Going to travel to. Voy a viajar y, a. Okay. Y en dado caso, el que decía eh, la cuatro, where are you going to tomorrow morning? Um, I am going to and work. I am going to work or to I am going to go to work. To go work. Okay. To work. To go to work. Ah, okay. To uh -huh. go to, to work. work. Okay. Or maybe you may say, I am going to have a meeting, right? Yeah. I hate smile. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> you can continue. Thank you. Tiene que ser, ay, voy. Dormiros. ¿Ah? 
Dormirte, ¿qué harás el fin de semana? Dormir. <risa> I'm going to... No many choices these days. Just stay home, stay safe. <risa> Sleep is the best choice. <risa> ok, I'll call you back in a minute, my dears, because now time is almost over, ok? How many questions do you have? Um, You're, you have like five, right? It's fine. Yes, excellent. Yes. You can continue, right? Don't worry. Just like one more minute. Hey, see you. Thank you. Hello, hello, welcome back. People is going to join to the plenary session in just a couple of seconds. So we will be able to share what we work in a breakout rooms. Okay. Hi people. Seven, nine, okay, perfect, we are complete. Okay, uh, I would like to ask um, each team, this time I need that each team can share at least one, of, one question and one answer, right? So it means that one person is going to ask a question and answer uh, once, okay? So who wants to start? Remember that this is your time for speaking, right? So the idea is that you can practice and speak the most. Okay, time is yours. ¿Qué equipo quiere comenzar? Eh, todos los equipos deberán decir al menos una pregunta y una respuesta, ¿verdad? The idea is that all of you can participate. Okay, I am okay. teacher. Okay, Carla, Carla en team. Carla y su compañero o compañera. Eh, con Aura estuvimos. Okay, perfect. Eh, what Ask time? a question to Aura, please. Okay. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? Aura? Aurita, can you hear us? No sé si Aura nos escucha. Bueno, mientras Aura se oh, conecta, sí, sí, sí. ahí está, ahí está Aura. Ok, Aura, what time? Can, can, you, can you please okay. the, the question, please? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to bed at 10 o'clock. Excellent, thank you Aura. Now you ask a question to Carla, please. Okay. Carla, what time are you going? To, uh, uh, sorry, what time are you going to get up tomorrow? I go to head up six a.m. Six a.m. Okay, mm -hmm. going to get up. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's continue with the teams. Okay, continuemos los equipos. Maybe Adrián. Adrián en team. Eh, hey, Lorena. Adrián, if you want, I can ask you. You can and you start say the start. answer. Okay. Uh, what What are you going to do after class? I'm going to repeat or study again the class. Wow! Excellent. Okay, now you can ask Adrián, Lorena. Ah, okay. Number two is, right? Where, where, whenever you want, uh, whatever uh, question you would like to ask. You. No, 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 it's number three, right? Okay, okay. What are you going to do after class? 
I am repeat the video class. I I I am going to repeat the video class. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Very good students. They they do a lot of work. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Okay, let's see now. I will ask uh, Andy, Quintanilla, and Tim, please. Okay. Uh, number five. Okay. Claudia. Okay, where the question you, is for Claudia. Where are you going to go on the weekend? I, I am going to visit Furesa. Beautiful. Enjoy. Now you ask her. Now you ask him, Claudia. Okay. Uh, number um, six. Are you going to travel to another country this year? I am not going to travel to another country this year. Okay, because of the pandemic, we understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Okay. Miss, I have a question. Yes. Yes, please. Go ahead. In the question number five, for okay. example, in okay. our group, um, the answer is um, that we are going to visit. Furesa? Our parents in Usulután on the weekend. Is that the correct form to write? Or mm -hmm. how can I say uh, yeah. this long sentence? It's a long sentence, but it's okay because when you are going to visit a person, for example, your parents, your relative, you use the, the verb visit, right? But if you're going to go, for example, to, to Furesa or to the beach, you don't say, I'm going to visit Pureza or to visit the beach. You can say, I have, I want to go or I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go to Pureza because it's a place, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so your, your answer was right. I'm going to visit my parents uh, at Usulután City, right? Or I'm going to visit my family at Usulután City. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. So, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, so is the the correct form is I'm going to visit parent my parents at Usulután. Yes. Yes. Or uh, or you, in or in Usulután. Uh, at it's because it's a very specific location. You're saying the name of the city. Uh, because maybe it's the, the city of Usulután. Let me elaborate this example. I'm going to visit my family at Puerto El Triunfo in Usulután department. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. In is it's more general than at. At is when you give a very more specific, a more specific location. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me see, Mario. Would you like to give us your your question, Mario, to your classmate? Um, question two. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, con Luis Asensio? Uh, okay. What time are you going to get to get up tomorrow? I'm going to go. To get up 6 a.m. Okay, now you what ask. Are, what time, number two, mm -hmm. what time are you going to get up tomorrow, Mario? I'm going to get up at 8 a.m. Okay. Uh, Gerardo, I don't, thank you, my dears. Gerardo, I don't know if you have already participated, my dear. No sé si Gerardo nos escucha. Okay, I think that only Gerardo is missing and all the people already participated. Thank you very much, my dears, because you were able to answer the questions and practice in saying um, about what you're going to do. Um, in this case, right, um, 
What are you going to, uh, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to get up tomorrow? What time are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do, excuse me, after class? And remember that in this case, we are using um, a future tense uh, with an auxiliary that is going to, right? This is the auxiliary. And then we have a main verb, which is in this case, get up. Get up is a two word verb, right? So, yeah, uh, so that's the main verb, get up. Okay, going to is the auxiliary in order that this uh, verb can have the future intention. In the other case, the verb is do, for example, do. Um, in the in this other in the first in this first sentence the main verb is go, right? In this case, in, uh, what are you going to? What time are you going to go? Yes, to go to bed tonight. In the other case, the verb is what are you going to do? Right? Do is the main verb, and the auxiliary is going to in order to say the future. Uh, Again, uh, where are you going? Listen, going to go. In this case, the main verb is go, right? So let me double check the other. Travel, in this case, the main verb is travel. And in the last one, spend. How much money are you going to spend, right? So the ones underlined are the main verbs of these sentences. And going to is the auxiliary in order to have the future tense. Okay, for tomorrow, what we are going to do tomorrow, because today is uh, it's not enough, the time to do this activity, but I want just uh, to give you the example, okay? We are going to talk about our birthday. So if you ask me, what are you going to do on your birthday, Patty? Uh, my birthday is on April the 17th. I'm going to, and tomorrow we are going to practice gonna, or I say, I'm gonna celebrate with my family. I'm going, or I'm gonna eat fruit, uh, to eat a fruit cake, uh, to eat a fruit cake. Um, my friends are going to sign happy birthday to me. My daughters, or my children, if you don't have daughters, are going to give me a gift, okay? So the idea for tomorrow is that you can tell us what are you planning to do for your birthday using going to. So I'm going to take a picture, and this is going to be like a, a sure. small homework for you to practice and give us tomorrow your example. Yes, please, tell me. Uh, in, I have a question. Yes. Um, in the uh, um, in the exercise, uh, uh -huh. the number seven sentence uh -huh. uh, say, "I am going to sp spend a little." Um, okay. How much money are you going to spend this month? Uh, ¿Cuál es la forma correcta? Es a little o a few? Por ejemplo, me pienso gastar poco. Ah, ok. A few. A few. Yes, okay. just a few. Porque recuerde que, que dinero, eh, the money, eh, it's uncountable. Okay. It's an uncountable. Okay. Aunque... Ok. Puedes decir, uh, a ver, uh, I have, I just have a little money. Tengo poquito dinero, ¿verdad? Eh, y puede decir, I just... Eh, I just have a few uh, dollars on my pockets. Tengo unos pocos dólares. A, a ver, aquí aclaremos. I just a few dollars in my pocket. Unos pocos dólares en mi bolsillo. Utilizamos a few, perdón, a, a, eso es lo correcto. Utilizamos a few cuando estamos ya midiendo en moneda, dollars. Pero cuando estamos a, hablando de money, en ese caso la respuesta sería just a little. Solo un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque no lo hemos trasladado al valor moneda, que sería dollars. Pero si uso la palabra dollars, entonces es just a few dollars. En, en ese caso podría decir, eh, I, am going, I am going to spend a little 
a little money. Solo pero un poco tiene por, que decir, por, a little money. I'm just go, I'm going to spend a little money. Porque si no estoy da... especificando que es dinero y en el otro porque estoy especificando en dólar, ¿qué cantidad? Exacto. Lo que correcto? pasa es que money es un uncountable noun. Money es un, un nombre que, que no... A ver, hay que pasarlo a un valor moneda para contarlo. Usted me puede responder, I'm going to spend $10 only. ¿Okay? Y that's a right answer. Pero si no me quiere decir la cantidad, sino que me quiere decir poquito, entonces sería just a little. Solo un poquito, just a little money. Eh, y, y lo puede complementar. I just have a few dollars in my pocket. Solo tengo unos poquitos dólares en mi bolsillo. Ok. Sí, okay. no sé si aclaré eh, el, el, el asunto, pero es que money es un uncountable now. Que hay que trasladarlo a un valor moneda para que sea countable. Por ejemplo, dollars I can count. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Ok, excellent. You're welcome. Ok, for tomorrow, eh, I expect that you can tell me what are you going to do on your birthday, right? So I need that you think in your next uh, birthday and you say, I'm planning to do this and that and that. So you will say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to celebrate like this, I'm going to buy this. Ok, so let's imagine, what are you planning to do for your next birthday? Okay, so for tomorrow, we are going to use that information in order to provide. Um, if you see, we have been working first uh, about Peter, later we work about us, and now we are going to uh, continue working like structuring or elaborating something a little bit more, uh, we can say, uh, complete, right? Pasamos de las oraciones, ¿verdad? A una estructura un poquito más compleja, hablando de nuestro eh, birthday. So for tomorrow, I expect that you can have like a small paragraph like this, talking about your next birthday, okay? Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No? No. Okay, my dear, thank you for coming. I appreciate that. I appreciate your interest for learning, your interest for practicing English. And then I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So please think of your birthday, go to bed early and be safe and rest, okay? Okay, thank see you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye.